Dale Chihuly by Taryn Lawrence The Man Who Made Glass Blowing Fine Art, born in 1941 in Tacoma, Washington. In his basement studio, he experiments and blows his first glass bubble, using colored glass and a metal pipe. From that moment, Chihuly knew he wanted to be a glass blower. Not knowing where to go in the States to study, he met Harvey Littleton, founder of the Studio Glass Movement. Julie moved to Wisconsin to attend Littleton's glass program at the University of Wisconsin, where he earned his MS degree in sculpture in 1967. Harvey Littleton is the son of one of the inventors of Pyrex. He wanted to take glass out of the factories and into the artist's studio, hence the name Studio Glass. In 1968, Chihuly studied glass in Venice on a Fulbright Fellowship and received a Master of Fine Arts at the Rhode Island School of Design. In 1971, Chihuly founded the Pilchuck Glass School near Stanwood, Washington. In 1976, while Chihuly was in England, he was involved in a head-on car accident which left him blinded in the left eye. After recovering, he continued to blow glass until he dislocated his right shoulder in a 1979 body surfing accident. No longer able to hold the glass blowing pipe, he hired others to do the work. Chihuly explained, and he explained the change in a 2006 interview saying, once I step back, I like the view and pointing out that it allowed him to see the work from more perspectives and enabled him to anticipate problems faster. Teamwork. Thus, Chihuly implemented the teamwork process, which he learned in Venice. Unlike other forms of art, such as painting or sculpture, hot glass requires teamwork. The person in charge of the piece being created is called a gaffer. He or she is a team leader and has one or more assistants who blows the glass at the bench while the gaffer shapes the piece. Chihuly said in an interview, and I quote, I like the idea of working with a team. There is a challenge in assembling the right team with the right skills in the proper environment with the proper facilities. All of these things have to be just right to create what I'm after. Let me just share with you a little on how glass is made. Glass is made by melting a mixture of sand and other minerals in a furnace at temperatures of 1700 degrees Celsius. Silica in the form of sand is the main ingredient of glass and this is combined with soda ash and limestone in special pots which are placed into the furnace. Broken recycled glass known as collet is added to the ingredients to speed up the melting process. Other materials can be added to produce different colors. For example, adding the minerals cobalt or sulfur will produce colored glass. While it is still molten, a hot liquid, glass can be manipulated by glass blowers to form bottles or other decorative articles. They blow air into the, into the liquid glass through a long pipe pictured on the left. To prevent the glass from breaking apart, the gaffer or his assistant will take the piece in the glory hole for reheating, picture located on the right. There, it is softened by a blasting flame and made ready for reworking. Chihuly Series Located here are just some of Chihuly's art series. While attending the University of Washington in 1963 and taking a mandatory weaving class, Chihuly made to incorporate a non-fiber material into the weaving. He chose glass. This was the occasion of the first serious glass artwork, glass weaving in which glass shards are interlaced with metal wires that he fuses into glass. Featured on the left is a cylinder from the Navajo Blanket series. 
The picture on the right is a Pendleton blanket collection. Since his weaving and textiles class, Chihuly became intrigued by the blanket's vibrant beauty and began collecting. Seaform series. In 1980 was the Seaform series, transparent sculptures of thin glass strengthened by ribbed strands of color. Fiori di Como. Located in the Bellagio Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, above the 18-foot ceiling is a coffer filled with the most extraordinary glass sculpture. Fiori di Como literally means flowers of Como. Como is a lake in Italy, and the beautiful flowers there inspire Chihuly's piece. Fiori di Como is composed of 2,000 hand-blown glass flowers and covers 2,000 square feet of the lobby ceiling. Weighing in at over 50,000 pounds, this is the largest glass sculpture ever made. Dale Chihuly's style is defined as a total focus on the pursuit of beauty. He has also completed many art installations around the world. Let's take a look. For part of 2006, the Missouri Botanical Garden featured Chihuly's Glass in the Garden. With glass sculptures placed throughout the garden, four pieces were purchased to remain at the garden. Here is another piece from Missouri Botanical Garden. In 1999, Chihuly created the Jerusalem Wall of Ice in front of the ancient stone, the old city of Jerusalem, near the Jaffa Gate. His hope was that the melting of the ice might symbolize the melting of tensions between, between the Arabs and the Jews. Chihuly shipped 30 solid blocks of ice from Alaska, known as the Arctic Diamond, as it is also very clear and you can see through it. There is so much more to discover about Chihuly's art. I was impressed with the many different series and pieces he has created. Currently, Chihuly and his wife Leslie Jackson and son Jackson Viola Chihuly reside in Seattle, Washington. You can view a collection of Chihuly's art at the Maureen Art Center in St. Petersburg, Florida.